Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeyame here with an RU Showdown Live. Now, originally what I had planned today was a live around either Mega Mawile or Mega Beedrill who have both been uh, released or at least are going to be released. I think I think we're, they were released yesterday or are released today or tomorrow. It's one of these days that they're released. And I plan to do a live around them and also talk about them a bit, maybe in like a moveset video sort of. Uh, give my thoughts on how they would uh, work in the metagame. Uh, what sets I could see be popular, how they would fare in it, and um, unfortunately, Showdown doesn't let me use them yet, so hopefully that will be tomorrow. It should be tomorrow. So today we're going to be doing an RU Live with the team that Champo made with uh, Abe, both friends of mine. We got Z Draco Dragaugi. I hope they changed uh, Z Draco's moveset because uh, it needs to look a little bit more powerful, but we got Dragaugi with Toxic Spice. We got CB Tyrantrum, you know, Shonja over here head smashing hopefully we can land I never ever hit them when I use this special defensive bronze on which helps us out versus the first two Pokemon we have on our team uh, as well as Pokemon like Swellow since we are taking on the RU tier we got Blastoise, Fizz Def with Haze and Rapid Spin, SD, Virizion and Scarf Healer so it should be a fun live of course feel free to follow me on Twitch and Twitter those links are down below I also should be streaming today uh, Wi-Fi battle oh my god my opponent's team looks scary too I uh, also should be streaming today Wi-Fi battles he, also, he absolutely gets destroyed by SD Verizion. Uh, I don't know if it's Scarf Kirim or not, but I should be streaming Wi-Fi Battles today um, in the RU and in the OU tier. That's what I feel like playing. It's it's just what I feel like playing. So uh, feel free to follow me on Twitch. I'm not sure if I'll be streaming while this is live or before, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, Shaman's a threat. I really, really, really love Dragalge as a lead. It gets up a T-Spike, and nothing on his team can immediately Oko it outside of Kirin with Draco Meteors. So we're going to lead off with that. Um, it gives me the best lead matchup versus Shaman, Suicune, uh, even Lucario. Hit him on top. Even uh, Bronzong can't do much. Can't talk to me. So once I get up that T-Spike, yeah, he can spin it away, but he is forced to take damage from the Toxic Spike. He's forced to be poisoned. And if he leads off a of Kiram, I could just switch directly into Bronzong and be fine. And that also gives me rock. So it's no big deal for me. I do got to be careful about uh, Lucario, whether it be SD or um, Nasty Plot, both of which we are very weak to. Do we have Earthquake on this Bronzong? We do. Good. That's definitely not going to kill Lucario, but uh, after some prior damage, it will. Blastoise can definitely eat a hit. Verizion hopefully can live a plus two E speed after rocks. Uh, it should be able to, but yeah. Dragali is just the best lead versus my opponent. As it leads off with the one lead that beats the best lead on my team. So, smart on my opponent's part to lead off with that mod. I'll just switch directly into my Bronzong. Um, it's it's actually just my best pre play. I want to figure out what type of um, Kiram he is as well. Looks like he's sub Kiram. I don't mind that too much. Uh, it will be a pain to break because it does have pressure. But I can at least get up rocks here. To be honest, even if he freezes me, that might be a little bit better for me. Uh, it might sound stupid, but the fact that he has not Scarf Kiram means he is ridiculously weak to Verizion. Ridiculously weak. So, I'll we'll throw off Gyro Balls here. Um, and what my opponent can do is actually just proceed to sub stall me a bit. But I only need Gyro Balls for this one Pokemon right here. So, I don't mind if you go for subs. Uh, as I do have uh, two more due to pressure. So, I do have two more. Hmm. Maybe he can roost when I don't go for it. Okay, I do mind. This is annoying. <laughs> Uh, this is why I think my buddy um, Eon X was telling me to try Iron Head over Gyro Ball. So maybe I'll try that next. I'll try Iron Head. Just, just because this is annoying and this is my answer to it. So we'll see how that works. I also don't have to be sassy. I can just be... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sassy. I can be careful. I'm careful, you know. I'm not sassy. So we'll try that for the next time. Because uh, I doubt Earthquake breaks the sub. You know what? Go ahead and sub right now. Yeah, go ahead and sub right now. We're about to Heliolisk you through that sub. <laughs> so Hyper Voice should be able to oh, hopefully knock him out. I'm actually not sure, but it does do damage to the sub. Uh, at least I was able to weaken him. What I'm thinking he's going to do is actually just switch directly into Bronzong or him on top. Uh, but if I'm Specs, this is bad for him. I'm not too worried about Suicune because Heliolisk does check it. Also, Heliolisk does eat a hit from Kirim. I'm just hoping this... Kirim's very bulky. Kiram is very bulky, so I don't think that this Hyper Voice will kill him, but I still believe this is my best play, and my opponent decides to go right out into him on top, so that is absolutely great for me. Uh, we get off a little bit of chip damage on that boy, and I can go right out into Dragalge, and honestly, just fire off a T-Spike 
You're definitely not bringing in Kiram on this. Is that Life Orb? What the hell? Are you a Salt Vez? I mean, he's not a Salt Vez. I did 29. Maybe Lum? I'm going to get up a T-Spike here as he goes for the Quake. Oh, come on. Why does he have Earthquake? No. Is this common enough to the point that you run Earthquake on this thing? I'm a Z Draco, though, just in case he Rapid Spins. Like, I would love to have a T-Spike up, but if I can at least get rid of his, um, if I can at least get rid of his spinner with the adaptability Z Draco, I'll take it. So, able to knock him out. Um, I'm not going to get up a T-Spike unless I bring this thing in on Bronzong, which I might try to do. I might try to do later. The thing is, though, my opponent could just go out to Lucario and knock me out. He chooses to go out to Kiram, though, which isn't the worst play. Actually, it's a really good play uh, because it gives him uh, an Ice Beam. There's no way he roosts here. He's going right for Ice Beam, so I'm going to go out to Bronzong. Or his Earth Power as well. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't think that you would sub. I think that you would... Uh, Gyro Ball is still my best play. Gyro Ball is still my best play, regardless of Roost or not. Um, I can't risk him... I, I can't risk him not going... Or, like, going for sub or something, so... Right here, uh, he could go for sub. I'm thinking about going for Toxic. If he goes for sub and I go Heliolisk, I knock him out. I'm gonna go for Toxic. Are you gonna make the sub play? I think he might just Roost again. This would be annoying, because this is a 50-50. Let's say he subs and I go Heliolisk, great. I kill him through that. Uh, if he goes for Roost, I Toxic and beat him. <sighs> he got me. Okay, so... Unfortunately, he got me in that turn, but that was a 50-50. I... You either win them or lose them, like... Uh, I wish I went with my gut. This is going to be such an annoying Mon to deal with. I'm going to have to sack in order to beat this Mon. Hmm. I don't think Helios being healthy matters in this game at all. I'm going to have to figure out a way to sack Dragalgi. That way I can go out to Virizion and beat it. Because this guy can just spam Ice Beam versus me. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot, though. He only has 14 left. But I have less Earthquakes. I definitely need enough Earthquakes as well for... Um, I definitely need enough Earthquakes as well for Lucario. Pokemon like that. Um, and the annoying part is he can always sub between... Mmm. I wish I got that 50-50 right. Had I went Helios, that would have been amazing. It's such an annoying Mon to deal with. Sub Kyurem. Yeah, that's why I changed it to Iron Head. Uh, maybe Heavy Slam is better? No, I think Iron Head has more PP. I also don't know how heavy Bronze on it. It looks like it's a little heavy. It's a giant bell. I've touched the Liberty Bell. Okay, illegally, I've touched the Liberty Bell. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to touch the Liberty Bell. So, right here, if he goes for sub and I go Heliolisk, I can knock him out. I, this is another 50-50, because I can always go Heliolisk and knock him out. Or I can go for Toxic, you're predicting him to not go for sub. Mm, I'm going for Toxic. Come on! Why do I keep getting it wrong? This is annoying. This is definitely annoying. <laughs> the fact that I keep getting every 50-50 wrong. I got a crit though, but that doesn't make a difference at all. Um, maybe Roar on Blasters would also be good. Yeah, I need to keep this guy alive. I need, I need at least I need at least two more Earthquakes for Lucario. He's definitely smart enough to stall it out. But why? why why'd you go? What? All right. Well, if I was my opponent, I would have definitely stayed in. But now I get a rock, so that's great. <laughs> I chip away at Lucario. I chip away at this. I have a spinner as well. In fact, I'm actually going to go hard to Galgi instead of getting up rocks. Because if he gets up his rocks, I get up a T-Spike, which will help me a ton. A ton. Unfortunately, I already revealed T-Spike, so he could make the highly, highly aggressive play of going directly into Kyurem. Not sure if he would, though. But... Ooh, he does. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Sludge Bomb definitely breaks your sub. But I can save this as a sack for later. So I'm actually, I actually am going to save it uh, because I can fodder it away off Kyurem. Good play on my opponent's part, but now I get up a T-Spike for Shaman, for Suicune, and for Kyurem for later. Wow, he, he's getting me on every single 50-50 and it's annoying because it's a coin flip. But I can't do anything about it. Throws off an Ice Beam. I would actually love if he froze me because he would have to waste more Ice Beams to beat me 1v1. But we are getting up our Stealth Rock here. We're going to be chipping away at Lucario. We're going to be chipping away at Suicune. Um, Lucario is actually the biggest threat my opponent has right now. Besides this Kyurem, obviously. Uh, but as I mentioned previously, Virizion dominates him. Virizion dominates him. But I can't... I need Stealth Rock damage to chip away at Kyurem. That way I can... Uh, you know, nice Chia. That way I can knock it out with Virizion. Virizion... Uh, Swords Dance. How much do you do to cure him? It's not choice. It probably has well, like 56 HP, something like that. 404, 
four or five maybe, 56, yeah. Close combat does kill after rocks, because that was Lumberry, just making sure that was Lum. Nah, that's fine. You know what? I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm stall you out. I'm gonna stall you out. I don't have any other play. You can lose as many of those as you want. I'm still getting... I am I am still getting HP back. In fact, I have a Haze Mon in the back too. I'm actually gonna go out into... As much as I don't want to get off damage on uh, Blastoise because... Because Pokemon like Lucario are threats. I think I can afford to go Blastoise here. Eat up his attacks. Uh, protect stall him a little bit as well because he's almost out of subs as well. So he, it's he's pressure stalling me, but he's on a timer as well. His own PP. I, I'm so glad that Shutdown made it. This is gonna be a long first game. Is this is one of those Jamvad level games? You know that dude who used to up upload. <laughs> this is actually one of those Jamvad level games. Um, because the first game is gonna be around 20 minutes. I can see it. We're at 11 minutes right now, but I'm confident I can get this victory. I'm confident, so we're gonna protect, stall him out of Nerf Power, and by at least by being able to get rid of his, uh, by being able to get rid of these rocks, I can freely switch between two attacks. Even if he freezes me, I do have Skull to Thaw, so I don't mind as long as I get rid of his rocks. And when Kiram comes back in, that man is on a timer. He only has 13 roots left. This is how you play patiently, and this is how you win. Even though my opponent got all the 50/50s right except for the first one versus me, which I applaud him for. I mean, it's literally, you know, flipping the coin like the quarter I have right there. Um, even though you got them all right, which is very good on my opponent's part, um, it's definitely not over yet. It's not just about getting the play right in the step-by-step -step process, but thinking long-term of how, how you're winning. Uh, and which is why I'm actually trying to be very, very, very careful around, around Lucario. I'm hoping it's Nasty Plot and not Swords Dance, so... Rizion just beats it 1v1 and the great thing about going out to Bronzong is even if he freezes me Which would be kind of amazing because he can't touch me with earth power and if he freezes me um, I can't attack like ever I and what it does for me is it means that my opponent Ice beam is it means that I'll be able to stall him out of more ice beams basically is what I'm trying to say ice beam does 15% so I'm recovering back 6% per turn, which is why I'm just going for Stealth Rock here. Every single time you go for sub, you have less subs. Um, in fact, I'll throw off a Toxic. Uh, there's no point. There's actually no point. I can see my opponent going out to his own Bronzong. Uh, but once Kiram is back in... <laughs> Kiram Black. Sorry, I was just remembering one of my favorite Pokemon to use. I love that monster. This mod ain't going to be RU for long. Lucario's not going to be RU. Shame is... I'm going to tell you right now. There's probably one Pokemon right here that's going to be RU by the end of this generation. And that's probably him on top. Everything else here is going to be UU. -U. I'm proclaiming it right now. Everything else here is going to be UU. Because he doesn't have... He doesn't have... Uh... <laughs> All these are monsters. Anyway, uh, what I'm actually going to do, because since it's pretty repetitive at this point, I'm going to pause it until uh, I've either stalled out Kiram successfully or my opponent decides to switch. So we'll be right back. Alright guys, we are back, and my opponent finally decided to switch. I didn't stall him out completely, but he ended up going for Substitute and Roost a lot of times. Um, he has like 4 Earth Powers left, and I think 6, I would say like 6, um, maybe 6 Ice Beams. But I eventually went out to Bronzong right here on a Switch into Shaman, and what I'm trying to do is actually stall him out with Life Orb a little bit as well. Uh, next time Kiram comes back in, I, I beat it 1v1. Bronzong never got frozen, I eventually... I'm trying to catch you up to speed. I went for Haze a couple times with uh, Blastoise, and he eventually realized, wow, this guy has a lot more PP than I do. So I could take him on. And I get in Dragalgi on the turn. I expect him to go for rest. Nice. And what we'll do is we'll actually get up a second layer of Toxic Spikes because I expect him to go Bronzong here. And this second layer of Toxic Spike is going to mean that Kiram is gone. Kiram is gone. Uh, and I guess we'll just start going for some... Some Focus Blasts here. Next time Shaman goes for rest, I SD up. Basically, I'm trying to hit this Focus Blast. That way, I got a crit. That was a crit and a Spadef Drop. Good Lord. And he goes for Toxic, trying to predict me to switch. Um, and that is going to be huge for uh, Verizion in the back. Because I'm trying to go for game with that thing with an SD. Uh, so, I'll throw off another Focus Blast. That was a crit and a Spadef That was a terrible turn for my opponent. Uh, Draco Meteor probably does a little bit. Uh, you know what? Draco Meteor lands. I'm going to drop a Draco right here. I got a Spadef Drop, so... I might as well, as he gets up Stealth Rock. And what I can proceed to do is, um, yeah, I have no reason not to go for Focus Blast. I would go for any other attack other than Focus Blast, but I don't want Lucario coming in. 
Though I doubt my opponent will bring in Lucario at that point. 35% should die to an attack from Helios. I'm talking about Bronzong. Thunderbolt from Helios should be able to knock him out. So we're going to go for Folk Splash here just in case my opponent decides to make the uh, very, very aggressive Lucario double. Or switch right here, rather. There's Shaman. I don't mind damage on Shaman either. Yeah, that's beautiful damage. That is absolutely amazing damage. And we can go right out to Bronzong here. Uh, we're keeping Dragalge alive because it's always a good sack for Kyurem. I don't care if he goes for Seed Flares. And because now Kyurem's going to be badly poisoned, Shaman's badly poisoned. I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried. Helios is looking very threatening. Virizion still looking just as threatening. However, I do want to get rid of Rocks because... Um, the calc for plus two Lucario extreme speed is 88 to 104 percent, so it's a 31 percent chance to KO me at full. So I definitely want to at least make the odds in my favor. Throws off a psychic, my opponent's gonna go down there. And uh, what I can do is actually pull the double out to Dragalgi. The reason I'm making this play is because if my opponent wants to go for rest, then I sack Dragalgi and I'm able to go out into my blast dice and rapid spin away the rocks, or even throw off scald if I want to. So if rest wants to come out, also another play I can do is actually just SD up and proceed to, you know, win the game. <laughs> uh, assuming plus two Virizion knocks out Shaman, which I completely doubt. Shaman is a very, very, very bulky Pokemon. Um, then again, after rocks, wow, 89. All right, so I knock it out, plus two. So what I was really hoping right there is that I died, um, which is obviously not what happened. Uh, so, he's gonna go out into his Bronzong, so I'm gonna throw off a Focus Blast one more time. Um, I, w I wanna be able to knock that thing out. And I guess my, my play is to not let, my play is to not let, uh, Lucario get an SD. Which I can definitely do. Yeah, I think I could do that. I'm, I'm still say uh, that for the sack. Uh, I know he will toxic my um, my my blasters if I go out into it, but just a double layer. If Dragalge had died right there, it would have been game. If Dragalge had died right there, it just would have been straight up game. Uh, but unfortunately, 12.7% still doesn't round down to 12 with Stealth Rock apparently, and it didn't work out that way. So we'll just Scald here before Rapid Spinning. Trying to get off a little bit of damage on Bronzong, uh, canceling out its leftovers and whatnot. Uh, keeping it low for an unboosted an unboosted close combat, which is what I want to do. Uh, also, if you go Shaman, obviously, as it gets weaker and weaker, makes it easier for me. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Crocoon, if it's Offensive Suicune, that's better for me. But I just want damage off on this guy. Goes for Earthquake. Surprised he didn't go for Toxic. We're just trying to get off some nice damage, though. I'm assuming what my opponent's trying to do is... Um, Weaken me to the point, or, or try and maybe catch a double, predicting me to predict the Shaman. I'll, but every single time I've showed my Shaman switching was Bronzong. It was always Bronzong. So I'm not sure. Even Blasters could potentially be Shaman 1v1 if I get enough, enough damage as well. So, nice damage, okay. Nice damage. Um, I could potentially click Rapid Spin. We're going to see if my opponent chooses to go for Stealth Rock here. Uh, uh, expecting me to go for Rapid Spin. But if he doesn't, because he did put me on a time or tox, he can't beat me 1v1. However, it depends. Like if I get for, if I go for Scald, right? Let's say I get a Huh. Scald is 15. He gets leftovers. Six. And then he burns. I think I can potentially beat him with Rabbit Spin spam. I think I can beat him with Rabbit Spin spam, because he's doing 1%. Or maybe not. Maybe not. That's fine. What we're going to do is just Scald here, anyway, um, and attempt to knock him out. Maybe I, I think I should have went for the Scald in the, next, in the previous turn, and then went for Rapid Spin. But I was really scared that I wouldn't get a 15 roll again. We'll see, though. If he lives on, like, 1%, great. Because I believe that means I get my kill. Yes, yeah, okay, great. I got the exact same roll. So I get my Rapid Spin kill. I I keep rocks off the field and Bronzong is assuming this at, he's actually at one percent and my rapid spin does the exact amount he's at. That'd be so cool. This is such a great. This is the best play I could. Have. I think I did actually right because I think if I stalled it before he would have been at two percent. I would not have been able to knock him out. Um, so I actually worked out perfectly. We prevented rocks. I'm in torrent range, so I actually do a ton of damage to Lucara if he wants to go out to that. Kirim is toxic. Uh, Shaman is going to be badly toxic. 
Everything is looking good for me right now. Shaman comes out. I actually want to uh, protect right here. I actually want to protect right here. Um, before that way I die. That way I could what I can do is uh, actually volt switch and rack up the poison damage on shaman poison plus life orb So what I plan on doing now is volt switching my heal is getting off enough damage to the point where um, At the poison damage you just die to close combat Yeah, I think that works out great because I, I could volt switch on at my opponent uh, if he chooses to attack me Actually, maybe that's not even the best play. I'm not sure I kind of wish rocks were up at the same time because I want Jagagi dying, but I don't want them up because obviously that helps my Virizion. So even if it like SDs up with Lucario, I should be good. And thankfully you can't Z move any type of uh, priority or something like that. So um, I just go bronze on here actually instead of Jagagi. Throws off a seed flare. Gets us to that drop. And what we'll do is we'll go out to Jagagi because if he attacks me or rests, it's in my favor to beat him. <laughs> It's in my favor. If he rests, I get a kill with Sludge Bomb. Or Draco Meteor, rather. And I can always haze up. Haze up. I can always haze versus Lucario. Uh, I would love to make the Verizion where I play here right now, but because he got the Spadel Drop, I'm not sure he's actually going to go over Verizion. I can see Kiram as a play. But Kiram just takes Stealth Throt, takes the poison damage, puts it in range of close combat. Yeah, throws off. Another Seed Flare. So that's going to be Life Warp plus Poison racking up. And I can go route to Verizion and just knock him out with close combat. And do what I pretty much was talking about the entire game. <laughs> and, um, yeah, basically get my kill. So, he has no switchings to Verizion. Absolutely no switchings to Verizion at this point. Shaman goes down. Good B. Crit did not matter. 16%. What are you doing? I never got to sit on my Tyrantrum. Maybe versus Suicune. Maybe. If I can force Suicune to rest, I can also SD up versus it. I don't know if it's offensive Suicune. That's the thing. So I would love if my opponent goes Lucario here, because I can then close combat it. I don't die to extreme speed. We already, I already showed you guys the calc. It was 88 to 104 percent, and I'm at full. Kiram goes down to close combat, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I did the calc and I did like 88 min or something like that. Kiram it was 56 HP. That's plus two. 81 min. So that's exactly what I need to knock it out. That's actually exactly what I need. And I still have enough Earthquakes on Bronzong. Um, if you guys didn't notice, Bronzong got back up to full before. But I have enough Earthquakes on it to actually threaten Lucario after a bit of prior damage. So, it's looking good. My opponent's just taking a little while. But I said this game was going to be the first game, that one of those jam bag games. The first game taking up half the life. Uh, I'll definitely make this... Hopefully we can get like at least two or three more games before I end the live. Um, this is taking a little bit more time than I wanted. It actually took me a little while as well to uh, play around the Kyurem because my opponent is taking a while for his moves. Uh, but that's fine. We have a timer for a reason. My opponent's allowed to use it. You know, it's actually easier to play on Showdown than on your DS because on your DS, if you pick a move, you're locked in. You are locked in. Unless, well, unless you do it like me, which I, the same way I've been picking moves for years whenever I got to play. You keep your finger on that move and you slowly but surely slowly but surely drag away as you're clicking it that way it doesn't actually click on it and you slowly but surely drag your finger to the other move Kiram comes out it should die it definitely should die but what if that's not his set you know what Get the hell out of here that's your set I could figure out by gyro balling it with bronze on might as well play it smart um, why does this not have zero IVs 65 to 77 and Bronzong's gyro ball dude where are you where are you where are you all these ice beams how much did my gyro ball do 71 yep 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 it's okay good be good be all right so I was thinking maybe he might be a bulkier Kiram than standard but there's actually no reason not to or to go that way um, anyway Lucario can come out, and even though it technically is a 50-50, whether it go for Shin Speed or um, something like that, and SD up, regardless, the roll still remains the same if I go Tyrantrum. So, what I'm trying to say is, if he goes Lucario and I go Tyrantrum, I force him to, and he goes for Shin Speed, great. I, he can't set up on me because I have Bandit Superpower. If I go out to Tyrantrum and he goes for Swords Dance, predicting to switch, I'm in the exact same position 
as a minus two Verizion versus a neutral Lucario. Basically, his extreme speed does the exact same amount if he's plus two versus a neutral Verizion versus a neutral Lucario versus my minus two Verizion. So, Tarantrum, I think, is always the play. Because at least if I can get off extreme speed damage, I can weaken him, but that guy might turn him out. Go hard, Tyrantrum, though. We are going hard, Tyrantrum. Uh, and Verizion always beats Suicune because I do have the Lumberry. Healing this beats Suicune as well. Yeah, I always beat Suicune. Plus, we have the Toxic Spikes. If it's like sub Suicune, we beat a 1v1 as well. Can't freeze me. My boy's about to time out. Is he going to go for SD? The last ditch effort SD? Let's see. Nope. Went right for extreme speed. And that will be, that should be game. So I just click superpower here. I actually just click superpower. I wonder how much uh, Helios does to. Helios does to Luke with uh, Thunderbolt. 61 to 77, that's a good amount. That is definitely a good amount. And um, how much do you do to minus one Lucario with Volt Switch? That's minus two. Minus one Lucario's Volt Switch, 71 to 84%. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll take that. That's definitely enough to win, so I'll just go for Volt Switch here. Uh, if he extreme speeds, then he dies 100%. Uh, otherwise, even if you SD, you don't... <laughs> my lowest roll doesn't give you enough turns to beat me. So I can easily Volt Switch here. Um, <laughs> maybe my opponent might make the aggressive play going... I could also Thunderbolt. There's actually no reason not to Thunderbolt. <laughs> There's actually no reason not to Thunderbolt there looking back at it um, because it also hit Suicune. So that was uh, that was my own mistake. I completely forgot what his last Pokemon on the back even though I'm staring at it right here. But yeah, I should have Thunderbolted there. But we can go out to Verizion and just click Leaf Blade and then close combat Lucario. So that was my bad. <laughs> um, then again, and again, yeah, because even at neutral, yeah, because I killed Lucario or Rocks, even at neutral. Rocks was one life or pit. But either way, Verizion's in. You can't kill me with a crit. I guess what that did was... Eh, it didn't really do anything for me. Yeah, whatever. I should have Thunderbolted there. That was a better play. Um, definitely a better play. But we're going to be able to knock him out to close combat. And that's going to be a good game. And that was a long-fought game. Even though he got all them 50-50s right. He didn't get the one at the end right with Lucario. And I already mentioned how the 50-50 didn't matter. It was still the exact same position, a role that was... Uh, 70 something percent in my favor and um, yeah we got the first game so <laughs> let's go ahead and look for another one man holy crap are we having these uh, are we having these life or death lives <laughs> doesn't matter we got the win and I got to use Dragagi Dragagi actually put in work those T spikes were so cl uh, clutch Wearing down Shaman was huge. I wasn't sure if it would be sub seed at team preview, though Life Orb looked like it, just the nature of his team. Um, sub Curum is something I really, really like, especially with T-Spikes. So I'm surprised my opponent did not have T-Spikes, but that made it easier for me. Then again, I did have a Spinner as well as a Toxic Spike Absorber. What the hell is this? <laughs> Why does that man have a Snark? Okay, see my opponent's team doesn't look scary, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's actually very, very scary. Cause this might look cute on team preview, but that wish that wish you watch you might be like, help me, help me at team preview. But that boy about to be scary as hell. Thankfully, and he has a, a good defogger. <laughs> I understand why he has this now. <laughs> this is why he has dark tricks. That man is ready to defog. I uh, really have a Helios and just volts around. Helios puts in work versus his team. Um, well, Toxic Oak actually, this is actually a well constructed team, and Toxic Oak is a threat. Uh, but what we're going to do is go right out into our, um, this beats his team 1v1 as well. He, he can have Will-O-Wisp on this thing. I'm just going to go right out into my Blastoise on his edge. Um, Toxic Oak is a threat, but I'm going to Scald anyway, because I'm not sure how he's going to play around it. Goes Dartress, this is his Defogger. I got to be careful about this thing. I'm actually going to Protect, because I'm, I'm not sure what he's going to do. He doubled into the threat. The threat is in. The threat's here. It's here. It's here. Do you have HP Electric? I'm gonna scald you too. I could potentially burn you and wear you down. I oh mean, you. Oh my God! Is it Choice Band? Why did it do 10 million damage? Well, finally the Toxico comes out. <laughs> um, I don't have a good answer to this. I don't know if he's Ice Punch. Bronzong, I need for Rabombe, Rabombi, whatever. I'm gonna try going Dragagi. 
as he goes right for Drain Punch. Alright, thankfully he went for Drain Punch. So what I can do is just drop... Would you go Ravambi? There's no way you go Ravambi here. I'm gonna drop a Z Draco. Maybe a regular Draco is better, actually. Because it, um... Regular Draco is better because I don't use my Z move. And if he goes Ravambi, I can always Sludge Bomb it. So we're gonna get off our, uh... We're gonna drop a Draco here. As we do live, please connect. This is why this is why I was actually scared to go for this attack because if he stayed in and I missed, but then again, I love Draco. There's no way I'm missing out here. I'm booking U-turn now, right? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna U-turn? I don't want Helios to be too <laughs> not healthy. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to go for Toxic Spikes here though. <laughs> Brave Bird. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared of Spirit Shackle, but I'm pretty sure the gla Grass Flying variant doesn't learn it. Anyway, I'm gonna click this attack a couple times and win the game. <laughs> no. It's definitely not over that easily. Uh, we're gonna click head smash though. His resist is not existent. No choice man head smash. I'm faster than this guy. Um, Soul Rock might be able to take run. No, just kidding. I I'm just lying. Uh, but his team is very scary. As long as Tyrantrum actually lands, we're good. And getting rid of Toxicroak, something, something that actually could have straight up 6 0 would me, uh, is amazing for us. It was scary for me. Going out into uh, Dragagi, because he, he could have went for the plus two and then knocked me out with Ice Punch, obviously, but I guess he didn't see if I had, he wanted to check if I had Dragon Tail or Roar on Blastoise. He probably wanted to feel around to see what my switching is, but I think he definitely could have played his Toxic Rogue better. Alright, let's see if he can land this. Good B! Alright, so Soul Rock is gone. Wishy Washy. Do you even eat this? I know you got so much HP. I'm not even calcing. This is choice band. Get out of my sight. Who next? Who is next? I'm hungry. I'm a I'm a dinosaur. I haven't been around for years. I'm hungry. Let's hear. I'm actually very hungry. <laughs> it's 2:45 p.m. Where's my food? I gotta cook it. But whatever. Rabombi comes out. Good. This is where maybe not having gyro balls. Time to add bronze onto my team. Oh, this is Fizz. Wait, Fizz. It's my boy. Is this fizz it up? Hey friend. Um, I'm actually gonna toxic because he has no toxic switchins. This is my buddy Fizz. I think. This is my buddy Fizz? He said yes. Is this is this, is this is, obviously I'm reading his name. I went for Toxic here because it hits Talonflame upon switching and actually completely <laughs> neuters it. For uh, he doesn't have his priority move, so I can then go Volt Switch out with Healing List after. So what I'm gonna do is go out to Bron uh, Blastoise here, as he Flare Blitzes. I don't really care about that. The important part was keeping him low. I don't know if that was Choice Specs crit on Bronzong, but we can just Scald here. Whether you go Dark Tricks or not, I don't care. Um, goes for his Z Supersonic Sky Strike, which should be able to knock me out. No, it doesn't. Puts me in Torrent, so I definitely will be able to knock out this Talon Flame, that threat. And all I gotta do is. Can you SD up? I'm just gonna click Scald, I'm probably faster. <laughs> yeah. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing, good lord. Uh, but we'll go right on to Tyrantrum. It's just me or does Bronzai keep a lot of otherwise broken checks and thre uh, threats in check? It does. Easily. Of course, yeah, it's Bronzong, bro. It definitely does. But we click Head Smash, and Rabambe comes in. I know it's pronounced Rabambe, guys. I just like Rabambe. It sounds better to me. And I can just click Head Smash so he can't... Uh, can't quiver. I assume he wants to quiver. No, but my opponent's definitely correct. It does keep a bunch of broken threats at bay. Um, but all I gotta do now is go out into bronze on, on Spadef, if this thing is even boosted, and it looks like he's specs. That might be specs, but we click Iron Head, which does 94%. I've never seen an Iron Head from bronze on do 94%, unless it's like Deancey. And even then, I'm pretty sure Deancey takes it better than this. <laughs> I know it's four times beat to it, uh, but Good game, man. Uh, but yeah, definitely a fun one. A team preview, it didn't look like too much, but it, he definitely had some threats. Like, if Toxico was played differently, it probably could have wrecked me. It probably would have just won, to be honest. This guy has a bunch of threats, too, and then he has Little Empoleon. On Fluga? Is this you? He has a bunch of threats. Uh, we're going to lead off a Tyrantrum because it actually just gets a kill. Um, what wins? Virizion SD uh, destroys him. I have to be careful with my bronze on because this could be a problem, which is why, you know, I'm not having Gyro Ball is scary, but I like Tyrantrum offensively versus his team because it threatens everything. 
It's faster than um, it's faster than this by one point, if I'm not mistaken. Prior to you know its shirt being taken off, she goes down, whatever. Dustnor comes out. Man, I don't I don't care if I get burnt. I really don't. I just want to weaken this guy. Actually, I care just a little bit. So we're gonna go out to Dragogi. <laughs> Because this thing could come in later on something like Crowdon and just click head smash. I don't want to be burnt right now. I'm gonna go Dragagi. If I get choice ban earthquake, I'll be very sad. I'll be very, very sad. But SD Verzion is a threat to my opponent. Uh, keeping Hail of the Skull alive is great because Scarf Hail of this can check this, uh, as well as checking Crowdon, even checking Verzion if it takes a little bit of prior damage. So we're gonna go hard Dragagi right here. As he will us and unfortunately misses. And uh, what I can do is Z Draco into Draco Meteor and knock him out. Uh, which is what I'm gonna go for. I should be faster unless he's running a significant amount of speed. But I'm a Z Draco because even if you go Baby Empoleon, which is obviously Primplup guys, I just like calling him Baby Empoleon. You know, I respect you, but not. Then again, that makes it look like I respect you for your father's wishes. I, mean, I respect you for what you do as well. That did 10 million damage, God. All right. So based on that damage, I'm pretty sure a resisted Sludge Bomb is gonna be able to kill. I'm gonna go for it. It should be able to. If this doesn't kill, I'll be sad. It's at 13% though. Yeah. Goes Needle King. I could have Draco Meteor that. Unforts. Unforts indeed. Uh, but we can go route to Bronzong. I, I like the play. I like how you went th that though. Um, because this gives him the opportunity to Ice Beam. This gives him the opportunity to Ice Beam me. Very, very, very solid double on my opponent's part. Very, very, very solid double. Gives him the pain split. Extremely good play on my opponent's part. I like that play a lot. I like that play a lot. Very good play, buddy. And he goes for Will O Wisp. I think he should have went for Pain Split there. <laughs> Cause I'm just gonna drop a Draco, bro. I am going to actually I have to be careful. Huh. I'm sludge bombing and I don't care. Uh, I can't drop a Draco because I don't want Minier to boost up enough. And I need Bronzong to check Needle King as well as Minier. I guess Scarfielis also checks that. And I, I am using the term check instead of counter because obviously a boost in Minier to a physically defensive Bronzong isn't the best answer. Um, assuming my opponent is going to just get up rocks here, I'll go for Stealth Rock. And uh, I actually want to get up a T-Spike just in case he switches out to Needle King now. Because what that will allow me to do is pretty much poison anything on my opponent's team. I don't want to drop a Draco just yet. As he scalds me. So... Uh, I guess that means my opponent will be going out to Nido King after. I'm gonna drop a Draco though. No, 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 I did it for the. I just said for the exact same reason I'm not. So I'm actually a little bit happy that missed at the same time. Not really. I would love to knock that out. I don't know what I'm doing. End me. <laughs> I like this guy. All right, so Prim Love is gone, which means he don't have to fight rock. <laughs> he just defogged away his rocks for me. I appreciate him. Uh, and my Draco Meteor missed. Um. Again, I should still be good versus this mon, but still, that's that's amazing. Uh, Dragagi can still come in on Bronzong, uh, or excuse me, on Dusknor as fodder, and if I get up rocks, I chip away at Minier. So I'll make this play, even though he's probably going to go for a fire move after. Uh, I'm hoping he's choice in some sort of way, so that's why I want to get on my rocks. He does go Dusknor, great, 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 great. And this allows me to chip away at Ruzion, Crawdon, break any potential sashes or anything like that. We can go right out to Dragagi right here uh, as he goes for Substitute. All right, so I have to go for Draco Meteor now. I don't think Sludge Bomb says so. That's a, that's a Dust Noir. <laughs> now, too bad Helios doesn't have Dry Skin and Scrap. I would love to combine abilities. I think that's going to be the next thing. Hex, interesting. Anybody think that'd be cool? The next big thing is combining abilities. No? A little bit broken. Yeah, maybe it is. Uh, we'll just Leaf Blade here. Knock out Dustnor. His switch into this don't exist. Which is why I made this play. Iron Head is actually my... Hmm. <laughs> Minier. I regret having Iron Head, but I just didn't want to have to PP stall. I didn't want to have to PP stall <laughs> that. Minier. How much you taking, buddy? Damn, that's not enough. Ah, that's not enough damage. Hmm. I am faster than it in this form if it shell smashes, so I'm going hard to get this. Uh, because if he goes for acrobatics, that's fine. If he shell smashes, I am. I should be faster with my scarf healing list prior to the form, which I am. Yep. 
and uh, I'm wall switching because it should be able to knock it out. That percentage, nice. All right, so basically that was a no drawback play because acrobatics would be the only thing that can knock out Virizion, uh, which Helios obviously resists. There's no way you go for Earthquake there. Um, and I just knock them out and South Rock are up, so <laughs> great. Uh, we can go right out to Virizion because Virizion keeps Crawdon out. It kind of just forces in his Needle King or his own Virizion. If he goes into his own Virizion, I will close combat it. Though I'm not sure if it is... Um, I'm not sure if it is, uh, what's it called? What type of Virizion? I don't know if it's Calm Mind or Swords Dance. Could also be Scarf. I've used Scarf. Go to his own Virizion. I think I'm just gonna SD up. I'm gonna attempt to SD up. If he's Calm Mind, I'd rather SD. Am I not ready for this? Is he area lacing me? Oh, he's sub. Oh, he's sub. That has to be sub Calm Mind. That has to be sub Calm Mind. Plus two Leaflet. Virizion doesn't have good defenses, but. Does that break the sun? Because I don't want to go for close combat and, you know, get my defenses lowered. Especially because I know for a fact that I can live... Oh god, that does so much weight. What the hell? Why did I expect more? I know for a fact I can live any hit. Alright, so this is where it comes down to. Which one of us is manlier? Because if he wins this, I'm, I'm scared. I mean, I always have Helios in the back to check Kronos. Oh, he has Sacred Sword, but it crit me. I think that crit. <laughs> Yo, that, that man has sacred sword. What does that even do? Uh, I could have mattered. <laughs> this guy's a funny guy. Uh, oh, this is bad. This is bad. I don't want him going for sub. I have to go for Iron Head here. Wow, if he actually had close combat, that'd be a lot better for me. So Iron Head will be able to break the sub. Uh, we're going to Toxic now. Wear him down a bit. Nice. We managed to land it. I will take that. In order to win this game, I'm going to have to play these guys immaculately. Immaculately. So, go for Iron Head here. Actually, I think I lose. Hmm. Let's see. Because I need Blastoise in to win, right? Pretty sure I need Blastoise in to win. I need Blasters to kill Needle King. Wow, that, that crit. I think I don't know. It's, it could have been a roll anyway. I'm trying to wear him down a point, to the point where... Uh, I can knock. That man had sub SD Sacred Sword. Ooh, this is good. 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 I can just click Outrage here. And um, I will be able to get Blasters in now. By going out into uh, Helulisk and going for Voltus. That gets in Crawdon. Oh, this is going to be so close. How much does my Hyper Voice do to Nidio King? Oh, what the hell did I just pronounce it as? Nidio King? Damn, it's not enough. Um, I have the Voltus here, though. I can't. If I did more, if I had Surf or something, maybe. So, we're going to go into our uh, Blastoise now and attempt to win, maybe. Let's see. Crawl on. Hypervoice says 79 and 93. Uh, what's the damage? What's the damage? What's the damage? Grass Knot? I doubt that does anything. 70 to 83%. So, it's weaker. And does that do more to Needle King? There's no way that does more to Needle King. There's absolutely no way out, though. What am I thinking? Go ahead and get some skull damage off then. Go ahead and get some skull burns. Let me get some damage off. Okay. Okay. Does this mean I live any hit? No. <laughs> it actually doesn't. So I have to scald again. <laughs> Why am I opponent going for crab hammer? <laughs> um, I mean at least it puts me in torrent, but then I just lose to Needle King. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Oh man, I, I lost the sub SD sacred sword set. <laughs> Why do you go for Thunderbolt? Are you Choice Scarf? If you're a Choice Scarf locked in a Thunderbolt, I'm gonna laugh. Holy crap. That was definitely over though. Good game, man. Yeah, I got wrecked. Um, that Verizion, man. I don't deserve this. <laughs> this guy's so funny. I don't know why he's making me laugh. Um, anyway, last game, and of course my opponent has the biggest threat to this team, Halucha. God, he's a monster. I just want to lead off with Dragali though. 
How is so ridiculous? There's, he has so many ridiculous mons in this tier right now. Halucha, Lucario, Frost. All these mons are so busted in this tier. Except for this. Except for this mod. Swallow's great, though. I think Swallow's like good, good. Yeah, it's it's so good in this tier. Frostlass is my opponent's lead of choice. Of course, of course, of course. Does a T spike do anything for me? Not really. So I'm just going to sludge bomb here. Get off some damage and just devastating Draco. I don't care if you um I, I don't really care if my opponent chooses to How do I not lose to Halucha? I don't care if my opponent Destiny Bonds is what I was trying to say, but how the hell do I not lose to Halucha? Is that even possible? I gotta go out to Scarf Healer Lisk because he has no electric answer outside of Golem. I don't understand how I don't lose to Halucha though. <laughs> even Rizion dominates me. And this thing too. This thing kind of just wins. We're in a Volt Switch. What set is that? I don't think I can beat Halucha. Maybe if I can protect. Bronzon doesn't check Swallow. <sighs> yeah. I don't, I don't think I had, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't think I can win this matchup. He has too many physical threats and my team is too defensive to actually do anything. I was Scald here, but, like, I, I don't, I don't know what I could do. I don't know how I could do it differently, because, like, I'm gonna go out into, I'm gonna go out to Virizion, right? I'm gonna be able to revenge kill him with, like, a, a, a Leaf Blade or something. I'm gonna go for Leaf Blade over, like, Close Combat. There's no reason not to go for Close Combat. I'll be able to revenge kill him, right? But then something like Halucha just comes in and just sets up and Oko's my entire team. It actually just sets up and Oko's my entire team. I, I didn't have the matchup here. I couldn't do anything. I actually could not do anything. Well, Halucha busted. Well, that mon going out of here. That's another mon. That mon's leaving. This mon leaving. This mon leaving. This mon might be leaving. Halucha goes crazy too. Go Swellow. I don't know if it'll Heat Wave first or... Hmm. We're gonna go Zong. Anyway, because Tyrantrum could be there. Yeah, Boom Burst makes the most sense out of Heat Waving. And, uh... I need Rocks away at least to chip away at... Maybe Golem? Okay, so, actually... How much does, uh, Healer take from Sucker Punch? That is... Very, very important. Sucker Punch does 10 million percent. That's amazing. Why does that do so much percentage? Oh, okay. I was looking at zero power. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, Earthquake here as he wall charges. Doesn't kill. Am I able to leave this is the question. You might be trapped. I am trapped. Great. So Iron Head here to finish him off. I thought he would... I didn't... I think... I thought I would die. Come on. No. No, 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 no. What I need him to do is go Swellow now, so I can just click Thunderbolt and win. It also comes down to... Because if he goes Honchko here, I'm, I'm... I always have Tyrantrum to at least eat one hit and go for Outrage and knock him out. There you go. I can't let him sub if he has that, so I'm gonna go for Iron Head. I don't care if he sucker punches. I can't let you sub. I actually cannot let you sub. But I need to kill Honchko. Uh, Supersonic Z Mirror move. Oh my god. Oh my god. That man is plus three attack. I have to outplay all his sucker punches now. Which is, you know, the only play I had, so we're gonna go for it. There's one. Even after doing this, I still don't win the game. Let's see if I can outplay two. There's two. I don't agree with him not going Halucha. No, that was just the easiest game. There's three. Hmm. There's four. I'm not confident about this one, so I think I'm gonna lose it. <sighs> he needs three left in total to beat me. This is where you don't sucker punch. No. All right, well, we go heal this here. We double out to Tarantrum. As long as he doesn't have one, I'm good. 
if you superpower here, I am screwed. And he got me. Yeah, good game. Yeah, good game. I I don't think I had that matchup. I also think my opponent could have just went out to Halucha at any given point and beat me. Like, if he went out to versus Verizion, he actually just SD'd up and won the game. For some reason, he decided not to. I'm getting another one, though. Because that one, I don't think I could have done anything differently. Alright, this will be the last one, though. Versus Thunderbug. At least this one, I can see a, a win, potentially. Like, at least in this one. Have fun. Threats, start, 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 threats. Tarantrum just destroys him as a lead. Choice ban, I'm just gonna click Outrage with it. Uh, if he leads off with Quillfish, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, Destiny Bond set. I don't have Foresight on Blastoise. Man, imagine I click Outrage. Yeah, even if I click Outrage there, it didn't work. It didn't work because Halucha still came in and SD'd up on me or subbed up at least until I got confused. Yeah, I think the only way I could win that is if he didn't, if he, the only way I could have won the last one is if I start him out of all his sucker punches but one and then I outrage with Tyrantrum as he sucker punches and kills me. I go heal list and I click Thunderbolt and win the game. That's the only way I could have won that game. Unless he was thinking, he's Jolly Honchko as well, so I don't know. Scarf Tyrantrum might be better on this, but heal is so nice. Did I not click elite? Oh, my bad. My bad, buddy. Uh, anyway, Don Fan is his leader choice. I'm just gonna click Outrage. I, I mean, I have bronze on the back. I'm gonna click Choice Man Outrage. I wanna weaken this. I wanna dent this dude. Heal this can just Voltage around his entire team, so I wanna dent him. His only ground type. But that's my thought process. Uh, heal this, just Voltage around. Let me dent his ground type. That way I can actually put in some work with this Mon. If he earthquakes me, so be it. Play roughs doesn't kill. Is he assault that? I have no idea. But we are gonna get the two hit KO on Don Fan, or he can switch out into something on a choice ban outrage. I don't care. Uh, unless hey, Ishar doesn't pick me off, there's no way. Play rough did 58%. It's super effective. Play rough is an interesting option on Don Fan. Maybe it's an attempt to beat spinner blockers like Spirit Tone. I feel like Earthquake just if you're adamant max attack, you're gonna do a lot anyway. And player can miss as well. Is player of 90 base power? Pretty sure it's 90 base power. Yeah, it's 90. Yeah, even at that point, like Earthquake has 150 base power after stab. Like player off is like. Who's texting me? Who is texting me? Oh. My mother would like to say, I love you. To me. Not to you guys. She don't love you. She don't even know you. Maybe she does love you. Maybe maybe one of my uh, my cousins is watching. She love you. Let me text back. I love you too, fam. <laughs> um. But anyway, yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah, player player is like. It's not. I don't think the damage difference is worth it when you have that ten percent chance to miss anyway. Because obviously super effective, so it's doubled, so it's ninety times two. And then that's only like 30 more power than uh, than 150, right? So, I don't know why I just didn't say 180. But that's only 30 more power than 150, right? So, I don't think it's worth it. Maybe there's another mod I'm not thinking of at the top of my head. Obviously, it hits Verizion as well. Uh, maybe that's... I don't know. I can't think of a mod in the RU tier that player off is worth it over anything else. Oh, yes. Less. Let me weaken this spin blocker too. That did 20%. And that did 100. Oh, my God. All right, so two gigantic threats gone. A bigger one is out, but Swallow comes out. I can go right to Bronzong. I check it. Very solid play on my opponent's part going for U-turn. I don't think I ever would have done it. Um, fire move here, maybe? Uh, I don't think Dragalgi does anything this game. Doesn't really beat anything, so I can go out to it. I mean, let's say he goes for fire Flare Blitz here, right, and Dragalgi actually takes two, then great. I can drop a Z Draco and knock something out. Otherwise, I'm not doing anything. Oh, it goes for Wild Charge, pretty good my Blastoise. And we will, uh, Devastating Drake here. They need to make it look like it does in the video game, though. I'm tired of this Dragon Pulse Z <laughs> Devastating Drake. That is not a counter unless it is Focus Sash. Even then, it's not a counter, it's just, it's just Focus Sash. So, able to knock that Mon out. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Swallow's gonna come out. 
more than likely knock me out. Uh, might as well just sludge bomb. It's not over yet, buddy. We're gonna have our rocks or bronze on just to chip away at um, the minior. I don't want it to be focus ash. I, that's like my fear. Things just randomly being focused. Ash. Spec Swallow doesn't do enough damage to me anyway. Uh, he could go out into Embor, but if it takes damage, I'm good. I don't care about Swallow at all. I'm actually just going to go for Toxic here. Maybe that's not the play. Maybe just Iron Heading or immediately is the play. Because Iron Heading immediately does. It's a 2 KO on. Um, it's a 2 KO on that Mon. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is actually click Iron Head again because I want Flare Blitz here. Uh, maybe, maybe that's not the play. I'm gonna go Verizion because if he flare bits me, then I just um, now I just click uh, Thunderbolt. Ophelia's can win, so yeah, that's the play. <laughs> that's game. Assuming everything dies, of course. Maybe I shouldn't risk this randomly being. I'm not gonna risk this thing randomly being uh, assault vest, right? So let's say if it is assault vest and it does actually live. Let's say it's Salt Vest, right? And it does actually live my Thunderbolt, and then I lose my Scarf Healer list. I just lost the Mon that can easily get rid of Swallow, and can get rid of the Minior. So what I am going to do here is Volt Switch into Tyrantrum, because Choice Band Tyrantrum also doesn't let Minior set up, and it invites in Swallow. Then I bring in my Healer list after, and I click Thunderbolt twice and win the game. I think that's the better, that's the better play, just in case something happens here. Though, I just don't want it to... Wild Charge did 32% to Dragalgi. It could probably be Scarf Embor. I just don't want it to be um, just some random set that lives Thunderbolt 35%. And I think the only one that's possible, it actually has to be like max HP. But you know, we're not trying to risk this after we just got off of two losses, right? Uh, Volt Switch actually doesn't, Thunderbolt actually doesn't do that much. Maybe it doesn't have to be max HP. Wow. Maybe like, it got an Assault this, right? I see that. Yep. If it hasn't solved this, Thunderbolt's a roll. If it's solved this with max HP, oh, I'm not killing. Good lord. Uh, that's just that. He's a solved this max HP, max attack. Quote me here. Quote me. Anyway, the best play is just going for Volt Switch, though. I explained it. I explained why. We already got up rocks. Chip away at Swallow. We're looking good to go. Go, Swallow. As we're going to be able to knock that out. Oh, nice. I got the stealth damage. So, solved this max HP and board dies. And we'll just go right out to Tyrantrum. Choice Band Tyrantrum is about to come through Embor, are you scarf buddy i'm just gonna click outrage it more than likely was scarf <laughs> it was probably scarf or band i want to say maybe it was banned um i don't see a reason not to go out to this mod and just click scald and all i have to do is haze 50 million times I don't even have to haste 50 million times. But I click Scald here. He goes Rats and Minion. I'm not sure why. That's. No. I, was, I don't think that was a play, buddy. I 2 KO you. Hey, go ahead and take off those clothes. You don't need them. Yeah, so. <laughs> Acrobatics didn't do anything because his, uh, his herb. His herb. His white herb <laughs> didn't activate. And Blastus is going to be able to pick up the KO. And this was obviously a choice spam. Embor. I don't think it knocks me out. Just live. But we have a little stars next to our name. I feel special. I'm a star, no rat. That is 75%. Good lord. Good game, man. All right, so Embor's going to pick itself off, and that's going to be game. We're going to end this live here. It was definitely a long live. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I enjoyed the team a lot. You can swap back and forth between Gyro Ball and Iron Head on Rollins on, I think. I'll actually leave the team in the description. Uh, a few big threats, though. Lucario, a bunch of physical setup mods. Um, Barizion is a huge threat. Uh, if Dragalgi is weakened, and that was my fault, but I also didn't have much counterplay for a Destiny Bonding Frost Ass with Taunt. My faster Mon could die to Destiny Bond if he uh, if I Volt Switched on it. So, uh, in any case, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Feel free, of course, to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, friends.